Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Fiat Panda. Um, this is a really bright little car, quite rare in this colour as well I think. Um, we've taken this in part exchange, we delivered the customer's new car to just about Land's End. So it's had a thorough test drive on the way back from Cornwall, um, a good two and a half, three hours and it's performed perfectly, really good little car. Um, I'll take you around and show you everything I can see. Um, obviously as you can see it's orange, first time in history I think we've had two orange cars on the site. Um, I will find out the exact colour name and put it on the advert, it will no doubt be in Italian, knowing Fiat, um, but I'll put that on there and you can just confirm that it is the colour you're after, a really, really nice bright colour. Um, tiny little touching has been done there on a bonnet chip, a set of uh, grey alloys on there with continental tyres all round, they're a 15 inch alloy. All the paintwork looks to be original, can't spot any poor paintwork or bad lines or anything like that. You've got the 4x4 logo down here, just in case you were confused as to what you were driving. A couple of minor curb marks on this alloy wheel, more like scratches to be honest. Hasn't gone through the sort of grey finish. As you can see it's got the sort of uh, standard level privacy glass through there, not blacked out as such, but a light tint to the windows. The parcel shelf is present. Decent sized boot for a tiny car. Uh, the bits are there, the gunk and the locking wheel nut tow and eye and emergency fuel filler spout um, the only thing missing is the compressor for the gunk but we will pop one of those in there before you take it away there's the build sticker as well with the VIN numbers and everything that all matches up with the logbook There was a little dent on the back door here, which we had taken out yesterday by the dent man, and there is just a tiny little imprint on the paint that you can probably still see, but that again is being ultra picky. It doesn't really show as an impression in there anymore from a distance. Roof's all good. Got the black roof rails on there. And just a couple of curb marks on that front passenger's wheel. Your daytime running lights there and your front fog lights down there. We'll have a look inside now, I'll start at the back. Child locks just there. Windy windows in the back. Full set of rubber mats throughout cup holders in three different stages there. Isofix points for your two outer rear seats. Uh, so predominantly cloth interior. It's got this sort of, I don't know what you call that, mild? Is that mild? Um, pattern through the middle there and then like a, I'm not sure if that's genuine leather or not, but we'll call it leather for the sake of the video, green leather bolsters. Headlining's all good, that's grey. Not bad legroom actually for the size of the car. The other side is obviously much the same, but just to show you that everything opens up and give you a closer look of it all. But immaculate in the back, I would go as far as to say. Oh, close that door properly. Onto the front, the green and black theme continues throughout here. Again, everything's absolutely spot on. Mats in the front as well. Uh, you have like a little storage area here. Airbag up on the top. In the glove box is all the owner's manuals. I'll include a picture of that all spread out, but it looks like it's got the whole lot there. And then you've got your auxiliary inputs there, USB and the traditional auxiliary. Head round to the driver's side now. 
uh, seat height adjustment, which believe it or not is an optional extra, according to the VIN spec sheet. Driver side all good, uh, no real signs of wear on the bolsters or anything like that. Yeah, all neat and green and tidy. Uh, two keys, both original Fiat ones. One is a blipper, one is just a solid sort of emergency key. There's the miles, 72,995. And our driver was a bit enthusiastic with the fuel, so you benefit from that. 174 miles worth left in there. Uh, Multifunction, oh sorry, my hands are dirty from getting around. Let's change the headlight bulb this morning. I do apologise. Um, Multifunction steering wheel, it's got voice control. And there's your audio control. I'm gonna, I don't think it's got the Bluetooth module though, because when you press the phone buttons, it doesn't do anything. And I did go through the menus. So I think even at this age, Bluetooth was an optional extra on these, which this one hasn't got. There's ways around that though, obviously, you know. Uh, here, this confuses some people. This is a little mount they sell. You can buy it from Fiat or eBay now. Um, and then you can put your sat nav in there. And there's a little charging socket just there. So that would be sold separately when it was new. A uh, little thing they have keeping change or whatnot in. Radio here, which is FM and AM. I couldn't spot DAB on there, so just a standard radio. Um, you can use those auxiliary points there, of course, as well. Uh, city mode for your power steering. Then your headlamp aim adjustments. Then your fog lights, heated rear screen. And your auto stop start. Aircon here, you just click the little and then the light comes on, that designates that you are using the aircon. Electric windows for the front, your four wheel drive lock, five speed manual gearbox, cup holders, heated seats, which is part of the winter pack, which this one's got, which is again an extra, and a 12 volt point there. Traditional handbrake. You've got some airbags up here. You've got uh, vanity mirrors here. Alarm sensors, interior lights, and a regular rear view mirror. I think that's everything I can spot on here. If I've missed anything, please just give us a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I include as many pictures as I can of the inside, the outside, and the paperwork. So along with this video, hopefully if you're thinking of buying from distance, this would give you all the information and confidence you need to do so. Um, but if you're more local to me and you want to pop into the site and check the vehicle out for yourself, you are more than welcome. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.